My mom is so focused on Taylor that she hasn't focused on my dad at all. They don't sleep in the same room. My dad has said that he feels more of like a roommate to my mom. I don't think Taylor's behavior affects our marriage. My husband and I work schedules are complete opposite, so I tend to sweep things under the rug just to keep the peace. My mom has to keep secrets from my dad. When my mom and dad argue, divorce is brought up so much that I'm afraid it will actually happen. We've never talked about divorce or anything like that or separation. Well, Kim's husband, Troy, says Kim's stress level is through the roof because of Taylor. He says he doesn't really get involved in the decision making because he lives in a house with all women and his daughters always go to mom. Taylor's going down a destructive path. She is like a ticking time bomb. I'm fearful she doesn't start making smarter decisions. It could cause bad consequences for her in the end. Taylor disrespects my wife all the time. My wife does a lot for Taylor and she doesn't appreciate it. My daughter has no respect for me because I tell her no and that makes me the bad guy. There are a lot of things that I find out after the fact because I'm not there because of my job. I only really know about 50% of everything that goes on in the house. My girls are afraid to tell me because they're afraid of how I'm going to react. The difference between Kim and I is that I don't give in to Taylor's demands and she does. If you give in to a kid at a young age, it's only gonna to continue to get worse. Since Taylor has been misbehaving, my marriage has been going downhill because my wife is always stressed out and she doesn't really wanna do anything. Kim and I just don't have quality time together. There's no spark in the marriage anymore because of the everyday occurrences with Taylor. Troy, thank you for being here. You, you've been listening backstage. Yes. What do you have to say about what you've heard and is there anything that's a surprise to you that you didn't know? about everything I saw on that video. I'll just put it to you this way, Dr. Phil. We have different, ra different ways of raising. I don't know if it's different ways that we were brought up, but different ways of parenting. And I tried to instill that in my kids when they were younger. And somewhere between that, almost like night and day, Taylor changed. Everybody said, she's just going through this. It's a middle school thing. She'll grow out of it. It's gotten worse. Well, this is happening on your watch. I know. Have you just given up as well? What, who, is, is anybody, what the hell's going on here? I'm, I don't get it. You're home in the afternoon. Yes, I am home in the afternoon. So you have more access than most fathers do to their daughters. That's right, that's right, and it's always been that way. Yeah. And she's homeschooled. What the hell's that all about? I was against the homeschooling thing. The online schooling, because that's the only ever thing, that's the only thing she has ever had to be responsible for. Showing up for school on time and being, not being able to leave until the bell rings. Now you've given her the liberty of sleeping all day, up all night, and logging into the computer when she feels like it. Well, this is just a higher form of insanity. Now, here's what Taylor says. She says she was bullied at school that's why she wanted to be homeschooled, but really all she wanted to do was be able to see her boyfriend during the day. She's not being homeschooled, she just quit school. Right. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And that's why I'm here to ask you a question, Dr. And Phil. What when would I that get be? cut off at the pass, okay, I'm basically against every parenting decision that she wants to make. How am I supposed to parent? So what you're saying is you're losing out to a parent that doesn't even parent. It's not like she is adamant about her parenting philosophy, yeah. so she stands her ground, I'm gonna do it my way. She doesn't even want to parent. She isn't even trying to parent. You're losing to somebody that is abdicating her parenting. The kid doesn't come to me anymore because all she hears is the word no, and she doesn't like it. And when she hears no from you, she goes to you and gets yes, correct? Yeah. Right? Correct. Absolutely. That's what happens. Absolutely. So you're saying, I don't know what to do. I cave. I give in. Yeah. I know I don't know what to do, but I'm criticizing what he does. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.